Okay, so yesterday, uh, we talked about finding the area of a rectangle. Okay, and the area was these square units inside. Okay, so these square units inside here, inside. Okay, now, to figure that out, we have maybe the base or the height. Sometimes they call it the length and the width. So if we say this was the base and this was the height, um, I should probably make it a, an H instead of a B, though. That would always help. Okay. And to find the area, we would then multiply the base and the height. Okay. So if I'm going to give an example, and I said that this base equals um, 8, and this height equals 4. To find the area, the area equals 4 times 8, which was 32. Okay, so 32 square units fill up this entire rectangle. Okay. Now, today we're going to learn how to find the area of a triangle. To find the area of a triangle, I'm going to erase this stuff up here. It's kind of neat about find the area of a triangle. Because you have to look at what exactly is a triangle. And I'm going to show you something. It might blow your minds just a little bit. Probably not, though. If I take this triangle right here, I can move it right up. It kind of fits. There. Boom. Okay. Now, this triangle here looks like it's half of that rectangle, isn't it? If I took a line and I went from right here, this corner, and I went to this corner right here, stopped right here, you see how we basically cut it into half, didn't we? Okay. So remember, our base was 8, and our height was 4. Can someone... Tell me, what's going through their mind if they think they can figure out what's the area of this blue triangle right here? What's the area right here? Tell me how. Um, it's 32. Okay, so you think this, this area of this, just this triangle is 32. But wasn't the area of the whole rectangle 32? And is this the same size as the whole rectangle? Jacob? Why do you think it's 16? Because since this triangle takes up half the rectangle, you can go 8 times 4 equals 32, because that's the area of this whole rectangle. And since we only want to find half of it, because the triangle's half of it, she's going to take that 32, divide it by 2, and get 16. Okay, 16 squared units. And that's exactly right. Okay, so the area of a triangle, okay, is one half the base times the height. So you're going to multiply the base times the height. And if you're multiplying something by one half, guess what you're doing? You're just dividing it by two. You're multiplying it by one, then dividing it by two. So one half the base times the height. Okay, that's how we find the area of a triangle. So in this case, we had eight and four. She multiplied them together and got 32, then took one half of it, basically divided it by two, and got 16. Okay. One half the base times the height. Okay. Now we have one more new thing to work on. Okay. Is this your trapezoid? Okay. Now a trapezoid is similar to a parallelogram where you have to have a base and a height. Now the height of a parallelogram is the one that's in the distance between these two parallel lines. 
Okay. So let's say this is uh, six. Okay. And the bottom down here is 12. And the top up here, we're going to say is eight. Now, I had a cool way to figure this out. Um, but I'm, I'm going to show you what the formula is first. Okay. It's similar to a triangle. Okay, so we're going to go one half. And if we multiply anything by one half, what are we really doing? What are we really doing? Yeah, we're just dividing it by two. We're going to take whatever our answer is and divide it by two. That's, that's all that this says right here. Okay. The height. And guess what? We're going to add these two numbers together. Okay. So one half of base, or sorry, times base one plus base two. Because look, if you add these two numbers together and then divide them by two, what are you doing? You're, you're finding the what? You're finding the, the median. Yeah, you find the mean, the average. So basically what you're doing is you're you're taking the average of the top and the bottom and you're multiplying it by this height right here. Okay? So in this case, I have 12, 8, and 6. Okay? So I have my area. It's going to equal 1 half. What's my height? What's going to be my H? What's my H going to be? Six. And what's twelve plus eight equal? What's twelve plus eight? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. So one half of six is three. Let me see your color. Take these two, and I have three times 20. What's 3 times 20 equal? 60. 60. And that's 60 squared units. Okay. 60 squared units. All right.